Sunday afternoon baseball and on the show as we welcome you inside Fenway Park in Boston. Today it's the rubber match of this three game series between the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim and the Boston Red Sox. Red Sox baseball is next. Chris Sale, a left handed Floridian, will get the starting assignment. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, but I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them, he's going to have a really good game. Here's Ben Revere, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. Leading off the afternoon for the Angels, left fielder, number 25. A little late on this one as it's lifted the other way down the left field line. Castillo will get there with ease as he puts it away for out number one. And with that, let's take a look at the Angels' starting lineup. Harold, what's the key for him against one of the best starters in the game? You want to watch the team put the ball in play? This is the team you want to watch. They are last in the league in strikeouts. One through nine, they put the ball in play, they put pressure on you. It's going to be a fun watch to see how they battle the other team's pitchers. Here's Craig Gentry, lifetime against Chris Sale. Just a two for 14 line to show for it. And here's a ball hit in the air. Lays himself out and makes a spectacular catch. And we'll get a look one more time here as we slow this play down and you can see how quickly he reacts to the ball there as he's able to get full extension and take away the base hit. In now Mike Trout to show you what he did in May versus what he's done so far at the plate in June. Into the windup and the pitch. A changeup that just catches the bottom of the zone for a strike. Well, these Red Sox entering play here this afternoon, HR. They come into this one looking to make amends for a loss last time out that put an end to a seven game winning streak. Well, Matt, they're playing good ball. If you look at the standings, they got a nice, comfortable lead, but comfortable can be, it can be trouble. You got to stay focused, keep your foot on the pedal, and just continue to put that opponent away because. This little lead can dwindle quick. Here's Trout waiting on the 1-1. One, one. And a slider gets one. away from him here as it just about got him in the ankle. Pretty good pitch and a great take there. There's not a lot you could do with that slider breaking down and unless you can catch it way out front and hook it down the line. You see a lot of swinging misses on those. And a big swing and a miss here. Two strikes. Bases are empty here with two men out. And that changeup didn't tempt anybody and misses for ball three. And you know what? Give this guy some credit up there because this had the look of being a very quick inning. He's been able to stretch this at bat out a little bit, and that's something that shouldn't go unnoticed. And we'll have the first base runner of the ball game here as that misses, and it's a two out walk. Yeah, well, when a guy's Batting swinging four. the bat as well as he's First been, baseman, this is a five. smart move. No reason Albert to tempt fate out there. Holes. Here's Albert now. It was a two-hit effort for him, including a home run in last night's game. And you wonder about the control now as he misses high with a slider. Seems like he's just lost the strike zone these last several pitches. He's got a walk, and that pitch right there, that wasn't even close. Two out with the man at first. In for a strike, it's one and one. Here's the one and one delivery. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. He's looking pretty passive here, hitting with a chance to drive in a run. Gonna have to make something happen with two strikes now. Lays off two and two now. A 
A runner on first with two away. And he'll try to hold up in time, but to no avail as he went around and the inning is over. Angels strand one. Now the Red Sox will get their shot, no score. Andrew Heaney, a left-hander out of Oklahoma, will be on the mound. What's your take on him, H? Well, if you look at his numbers, it's not going to blow you away. But he's an important guy to this team. He eats up innings. He continues to keep them in games. And if he gets a little luck along the way, he may walk away with more wins than losses. Into the box now is Dustin Pedroia, as he'll lead off the home Leading half the of Rizzo. inning number one. Second baseman, Dustin Pedroia. In there for strike one. These Angels, Harold, as they enter play here this afternoon, four and two over their last six games, including a win last time out. Yeah, Matt, this has been a fun series. These two teams are evenly matched. I mean, they've had two games so far, and they've each won one game by one run. Uh, it's been fun to watch. Here's the 0 and 2. And there's a sinker that he just spits on as it misses low. Yeah, and if you get a guy flailing at a pitch like that, heck, you're going to go out there and throw that same pitch until he proves he can lay off of it. Ready to deliver the one and two. And this is swung on and missed for strike three. And adding insult to injury, that pitch hit him as well, but there's one away. With that, here's how the hometown Red Sox line up in this one. Anybody catch your eye, Dan? Well, one thing's for sure. They love what Mookie Betts brings to their offense. He's on a nice stretch. That's three home runs in his last ten games. He's swinging the bat really well right now. And by watching his mannerisms in the box, he just looks comfortable in the plate. He's in some kind of a groove. Here's Xander Bogarts now, currently with the third best home run total on the ball club. First pitch coming, here it is. Trying to work that slider to the outer half, but it misses 1 0. The 1 0 delivery. Hard hit to the left side, but taken in out there at short. A laser that time, but it'll wind up with batting nothing third. to show for it. Right Two fielder. away now. Mookie. Now batting, Mookie Betts. He's currently tied for second place on the team in home runs. Here's the first pitch to him. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Very weakly on the ground. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Good looking sinker on the inside corner. Two out, nobody on. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Here's the pitch. Hit on the ground out to short. Fielded by Escobar. Throw to Pujols is going to be in time, and the inning is over. Nothing in the Boston first. We've played an inning at Fenway. No score here on the show. Cole Calhoun will stand in now. Lifetime Angels. against Chris Sale. Over five. Cole Calhoun. And he'll start the inning with a pitch that misses off the plate. It's ball one.
the pitch. Here's a changeup that's right there, one and one. Oh, that's for sure going to be a pitch he wants back. You're not going to get many balls right in the wheelhouse from a top level arm like this. From the windup, the one one pitch. Swing, and that's hit out of play up into the plaza level. Here comes the one two from Sale. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Okay, let's take a look at the defense for the Boston Red Sox, brought to you Not by exactly. Majestic. I'm looking at Hanley Ramirez. They thought he was going to be a project, and what he's done has become a pretty good defensive first baseman. Now, we've seen him at short, we've seen him at third, but first base, he's starting to look comfortable. Stepping up now, Yunel Escobar. And he enters play today, currently fifth in the American League in hitting. Into the windup and the pitch. Takes a look at a strike over the inside corner. Here's the 0 1. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Oh, he definitely got away with the changeup right there. He hung that one. But the good news is, he got him to pull it foul. Now you come back after him here with another pitch. Again, he sends it out of play. I like the pitch right there. Got him to chase a fastball out of the zone. I'd come back with it again. And this nope. one's taken oh. by Escobar. It's a ball and two strikes. Boy, that's a tough pitch to lay off right there, just out of the strike zone. But listen, when you're a 300 hitter, you don't chase a lot of those so called pitchers' pitches. This guy knows the strike zone. Now a swing and a ball chop foul right at home plate. A swing here on the fastball, and this will get fouled off to the right side. Swing and a liner. And this is a fair ball as it'll head toward the pesky pole and right. Well, that's a perfect example of taking a ball inside out. You know, you hear that Batting terminology, seven. stay inside Second the ball baseman. right there. He took a Danny ball inside and shot it the other way for the base hit. Stepping into the box, Danny Espinoza. And the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. Here comes the first pitch. Tough slider that just catches the corner for a strike. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Swing and a miss way behind the big fastball. Now a mid 90s fastball is no joke and that's proof right there. He threw it right by him. And this one's in the dirt. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. Well, the graphic here isn't going to properly show just how far that pitch was from the strike zone. That thing wasn't even close, and I think it made the decision to move up a base pretty easy to make. The one and two pitch. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And no one can get there. He'll try it again. No score here as we play inning number two. One two pitches a slider that misses two and two. Now that's that old school slider right there trying to get in on his hands. We see that with a cutter a lot but the slider is even more effective because you can't pick up the spin. Set to deal on two and two. Drilled to first. Ramirez is right there. 
And he'll take this one to the bag for the out. But meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. Batting eight. Third baseman number two. Andrelton in now is Andrelton Simmons. Simmons. He's back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And they're going to strike first this afternoon as this is down for extra bases. And the run will score as the Angels grab the early 1 nothing lead. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here, he just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high fiving teammates in the dugout. Into the box now, Martin Maldonado, as he will take a look at a fastball in there as that strike zone expands just a little. It's 0 and 1. The numbers offensively pretty dismal to this point, down in the 170s to start play. Two home runs and six RBIs. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. A changeup that just nips the outside of the zone. He's already given up a run. He's got a runner on. He's got to put this guy away. Got him in an 0-2 count. You can't let this inning get any worse. Angels lead at one nothing here in inning number two. Shut him down now. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Another 0 and 2 coming. And another foul ball. The 0 2 once more. Oh, and he dusted him off the plate that time. Some mind games being played now. It's 1 and 2. Has a look, now the pitch. Still hanging with him, another good swing to keep it going. That's probably not what he wants to do with two strikes right there with the fastball. He is fortunate he just fouled it off. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Angels do get a run in the inning on this RBI double. On to the bottom of inning the two, and the Angels lead it here, one nothing. Here's Handley Ramirez. He drove in three of his team's four runs in last night's game. Handley Ramirez. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. One and one. Man, he wanted that pitch, and I can't blame him. When you're facing a good hitter like this, you want that strike. You need that strike. It's 0 and 2 instead of 1 1. Now the 1 1 to Ramirez. And that pitch catches the inside corner. Ready to deliver the 1 and 2. Misses ball two. Boy, that's a great breaking ball right there. That's a tough pitch to lay off when that ball's coming in at that plane right there. Quality take. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Skied into very shallow right. Calhoun has a read on it. One out. All right, here's how the Halos line up defensively, brought to you by Majestic. And in the outfield, Mike Trout. May as well say highlight Mike, because every night it seems like he's putting on a highlight reel play. He can go get him left, right, center, climb a wall like Spider Man if he needs to. Into the box, Jackie Bradley Jr. And he comes into this one having hit safely in his last five games. Come on, guys. 
First delivery to him on the way. And a neck high fastball that time. The wind up and the 1 0 pitch. Runs outside, so it goes to 2 0 now. Well, here's a guy we know is swinging it pretty well at the plate lately, and based on those last two pitches, I think I know why. He's doing a great job of putting himself in counts where he's likely to be successful. Now a swing as he hits this one into the air. Uh, this will be foul off to the right out of play. Well, that's back-to-back -back breaking balls. He's able to foul that one off. Will they come back with a third? Dribbled back toward the mound. And a throw to Pujols is in time for the second out. Batting six, third baseman. Jose Digging in the switch hitter, Ramirez. Jose Ramirez. And in case you haven't been keeping up the tabs on him, arguably he's been one of the hottest hitters in the league over the last seven or so games. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Now that's not fair. You're supposed to be throwing sinkers, and he throws a high fastball right there. That's why everybody's shaking their head. And he is cruising now. It's 0-2. You got to be thinking he's going to throw that change up eventually. He's got you 0-2, hasn't shown it yet, and you know that's his out pitch. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and a line drive. But a foul ball. Another 0-2 home. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Red Sox. It remains 1-0. So much baseball history here at Fenway Park in and around the stadium as we continue our coverage of Major League Baseball on the show. Leading off with the Angels. Digging in for his second at bat, Ben Revere. Ben 0 for 1 for Revere. him here in this one. Here's the pitch. In the third inning begins with a changeup that misses. It's a ball and no strikes. Pitch on the way. Called strike at the knees, one and one. Ready with the one one pitch. And the third baseman will have a look at it, but this is back into the seats. Here's the one and two delivery. Slow grounder to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. And with one gun, time for a check of the standings to see where the Red Sox place in the American League East. Ready for another chance? Craig Gentry, 0 for 1 here in the early going. Into the windup and the pitch. He'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. One out, nobody on. And he falls behind now, 2 0. Oh. From the windup, the 2 0 oh pitch. 3 and 0 oh now. Trouble waiting next as you see Mike Trout in the on deck circle. In there, three and one. Four pitches, all takes. He's showing a lot of patience here. And I like that from a guy like him, Matty. He can do a lot of damage on a base pass with his legs, so there's no reason for him to get overly aggressive if he's not getting anything to handle. Let's go, let's go. Woo, 
into the windup ready with the payoff pitch. Good job to spoil that one away and he stays alive. Here comes the payoff pitch and this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. The center fielder number 27 Mike digging in to try it again Mike Trout he drew a base on balls his first time up. Move over to first and the runner back. Here's the first pitch to him. Belt high and right down the middle for a strike. He broke out the slide step there, Danny. Yeah, he's clearly thinking about the steal right here. Didn't happen, but the cat mouse game continues on. Runners on first with one down. And he's got to be more disciplined here. It's 0 and 2. He's attacking this hitter a lot more aggressively than he did the first time when he faced him and issued a walk coming right after him here. He's ready. Here's the 0 2 pitch. And he couldn't get him to chase the 0 2 fastball. It's 1 and 2. Now a swing as he shoots this down the right field line and that'll get over the wall so forget about sending the runner it'll be second and third now with only one away. So it's second and third with one gone now and standing in trouble now in the person of Albert Pujols. Here comes the first pitch. And he takes a pitch right down the middle. Oh, he got a hanger right there. I know he's going to wish he got that pitch back. That was a good hitting pitch right there. Just froze him, looked like. Runners are at second and third with one down. Here's a high foul ball as it finds a lucky fan in the upper deck for a souvenir. And they try to get Pujols to chase here, but he lays off. It's one and two. With the infield back and a runner at third, he's definitely pitching for a strikeout or maybe something like a harmless pop-up. You could see it from that high fastball, but that was just a good job of laying off that pitch. Ready with the one and two. Now a swing and a weak little line drive over to first. And this will get taken in at first for the second out of the inning. Now batting. Right fielder, Cole Calhoun. Into the box now, Cole Calhoun looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. In the dirt and block behind the plate. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Has a look now the pitch fouled straight back he's set here comes the one one and a slider is way low but a good job there to knock this one down. He's set and the two one pitch. A high fastball is in there. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. Here's the pitch on 2 and 2. Swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line and right. Betts has a read on it. And that retires the side. Angels strand a couple, but they hold a 1-0 lead.
stepping in. Rusne Castillo, 7, 8, and 9 to start the home third. Not much going on offensively so far for these guys. Six up, six down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Trout has a read on it. One down. And before we get much further, time for a look at the standings entering play today as you see where the Angels find themselves in the American League West. Striding in, Sandy Leon, looking for better results than last night when he went 0 for 4 in that one. First delivery to him on the way. And boy, a high strike called there. That's not all that consistent, but it's strike one. We're seeing him in an absolute groove out there in the mound right now. Retired seven straight, and mechanically, he looks really consistent and fluid to me. Here comes the 0 1. Tough pitch to lay off. The slider stays high for ball one. Here's the one and one delivery and a hard sinker there chopped foul at home plate. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Now a swing and a ground ball for Escobar at shortstop and now against his body a jump throw and the throw gets him at first on his final play of the hole as you're ever likely to see two away now now with the plate Josh Rutledge. Two away in the inning, and Dan, it looks like this could be another one, two, three inning for him. Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. First offering on its way. Here's a sinker to start him out, but he wouldn't bite. It's ball one. He's ready. Here's the 1 0. And 2 0 as this one's taken low. Not a great spot to be in right here, 2 0, but I'm not so sure why he's pitching this guy so cautiously. A bottom of the order guy you don't normally see getting pitched like this. The 2 0 on the way. And a very low strike there. Trying to speed up the game, perhaps. It's 2 and 1. Love the pitch call there. 2 0. You know the guy's geared up for a fastball and you drop a changeup in the zone. That's going to be a tough pitch to handle. And this one's going to bounce up to the plate and easy take there and it's three and one now. You know when you haven't gotten a guy on base yet in the entire game a three ball count kind of feels like a little mini rally. Let's see if he can get on. Set to deal. Here's the three one. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Hey, they haven't been able to register a hit against this guy, but at least they have a base runner here. We'll see if that leads to something. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. From the belt, the pitch in tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1 and 0. Well, now they got the tie run at first base. Now it's going to take a ball in the gap to really score this guy from first base. And I'm really curious how they're going to defend that on a relay throw and maybe if we have a play or not. But you got to hit one in the gap to get there first. Pedroia waiting the 1 0. And the changeup is way low that time. On 2 and 0, you can bet he's looking for a fastball that he can turn on and drive. Might be thinking about picking on that big hole between first and second. That's 
From the stretch. Nope. Three and zero. Wow, this is the kind of count you'd like to get your superstar hitters in, right? Three and zero. You can bet he has the green light on this pitch. Here it comes on three and zero. Hard hit ball to second. And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. One left for the Red Sox. They're on the short end of a one to nothing score. Here's the shortstop, Yunel Escobar. And he'll step in to shortstop, start things out against Yunel Chris Sale. Escobar. Into the windup and the pitch. A fastball that finds the outside corner. You know, Matt, he's having great success, but I can't say it's because of the first pitch strike. Now, that's over 60% of the time he's throwing that first strike, but usually to have this kind of success, you would think the ratio would be much higher. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Outside at 94, one ball and one strike. The 1-1 one, one on its way to Escobar. And nope, this ball runs one. away for ball two. Two and one. Two balls and a strike. Here it is. Aye. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Danny Espinoza is on deck. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Hot shot to third and handled for the first out. The batter number three. Second baseman. Danny Espinosa. Riding in once again. Danny Espinosa comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. First pitch of the at bat. Nope. Lays off 1-0. Nope. Bases are empty, one man out. Downstairs, two balls and no strikes. 2-0 count and the pitch. And that one right down Main Street. Well, what's he looking for? 2-0 fastball right down the middle, and he took it? I don't know what he's thinking about. Maybe he thought he's going to throw him a breaking ball, but I think you got to sit fastball there. And this is fouled at the plate. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Well hit. Deep down the right field line. And it'll fade just at the end and winds up a long foul ball. And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes. And the first two are retired here to begin inning number four. Another strikeout for him on the mound. And boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Ah, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. In now is Andrelton Simmons. One for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. The 0 1. Ball chop foul here at the plate, and he's behind nothing and two. And this is fouled back and out of play. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Here comes the 1 2 from Sale. Line fouled off to the right over the Red Sox dugout. One run on three hits, and no errors to this point for the Angels. 
and mm, tough fastball to lay off on one and two but he did and it's two and two now not sure if that was a great take or if he got locked up on a two seamer running away but either way it worked out well for him that's a well thrown pitch though. swing and a miss he struck him out with a two seamer and the inning is over angels go down one two three but they're on top one to nothing. Here's Xander Bogarts now. He'll lead things off Leading here in this one run right contest. Side, the shortstop, number two. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Leaves a slider right over the middle. Tell you what, I'm already taking inventory in the fourth inning here, Matt. His secondary pitch has really been effective. He's used it well. He's getting a lot of good results from it. I just wonder if they're going to make an adjustment as the game continues. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Now here's the pitch. And that misses two and one. Gets the sign. Here comes the 2 1. Hey. Slider up that he gets a call on. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. A fastball that just misses inside. Well, they haven't had a lot of offense in this game. Right now, though, you've got three balls here. Maybe this will be the leadoff walk that gets things going for him. He's ready. Now the payoff pitch. And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. Well, they haven't been able to scratch a run across yet, so maybe this walk will jumpstart their offense a little bit. Here's Mookie Betts. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And he'll snap one over to first. And a dive, but he's back. He's set and the pitch. Fouled straight back. Red Sox still looking for their first hit here. And that sinker misses at the shoe tops. Ball one. And the low 80s slider is in there and he's in control one and two. He had some really good late action on that slider right there. It's hard to do anything with that pitch unless you're sitting on it and catch it out front before it breaks all the way in. Halfway to 100 pitches. Here it is. Chopped weakly to the left. Escobar's got to be quick. And indeed, he won't look at second. He'll just flip it on over to first to take the sure out. Now batting. First baseman. Standing in, Henry Ramirez, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. First pitch of the at bat on its way, and he pops him up back behind second base. Espinoza takes charge out there, and he stays with it for the second out. The batter. Fielder. Here's Jackie, Jackie Bradley now. Bradley. 0 for 1 Junior. for him here in this one. Come on, He's set. Here it comes. Looks at a sinker on the outside corner. Now the 0 1 bouncer down the line. That's a foul ball. No runs, no hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. Slider, good two strike pitch, but it misses one and two. Hey, I know you have to protect the strike zone when you get the count to two strikes, but on an 0 2 pitch that misses by that much, it's pretty easy for a hitter not to swing at that one. On. 
Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Lays off the one two change up and he's worked it back to two and two. Yeah that looked like a strike but let me tell you when you're staring at a big zero in the hit column getting a call like that to go your way can feel like a big victory. Here's the pitch on two and two outside and a full count three and two. Some pitchers fall into the trap of giving in on three and two because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open it's not the end of the world if you do you still need to make a quality pitch. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. A swing and a miss at a sinker. The strikeout retires the side. Inning is over. Red Sox leave one. They still trail one nothing. Stepping in and ready for another shot. For Martin angel. Maldonado comes into this Martin at bat 0 for 1 Maldonado. in the ball game. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. He's really throwing the ball well in this game. And the thing to me that stands out is that two seamer. He's got great movement and he's keeping hitters off balance with it. The wind up and the 0 1. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Here's the 1 and 1 delivery. Fastball called strike. 1 and 2. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Now another one two. And that swung on and fouled straight back. Well I think he's trying to get that two strike fastball out of the zone. Just caught too much of the plate right there. Fortunately he fouled it off instead of putting it in the seats. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. The left fielder number 25. He put up a pretty good battle at the ben plate right there. Revere. They finally get him on a one and two pitch but you could see that he wasn't laying down without a fight. He really made the pitcher earn that strikeout. Here's Ben Revere. As Sale will get the upper hand to start the at bat here at strike one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. Got a big pass at a slider that gets past him. We are watching a great pitcher just carving up this lineup right now. Now he's got this guy 0 and 2. When you get a 0 2 against a guy like this, well, the results are not going to be very positive. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. And this is chopped foul at the plate, and he stays alive, still 0 and 2. In the dirt, but swung on and missed. And he makes the throw to first. Revere is retired, two down now. So about it. Here's Craig Gentry. Craig First two men Gentry. in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Here's the first pitch to him. Fouled back. With two outs, they're not playing him to bunt here, and he didn't show it there, but I wouldn't be surprised if he wasn't at least thinking about it. He handles the bat pretty well, and he can definitely run. Here's a swing and a high pop-up. Drifting toward the third base dugout. And he'll get under it to put it away in foul territory. And that ends the inning. Pretty painless half of the inning, all told. Home half of the fifth coming up. Angels lead it one to nothing. Now to the plate, Jose Ramirez. He'll start things out here in the home fifth, and it's been tough sledding for this lineup through the first half of the game. Yeah, they haven't had any momentum going to the plate so far in this one, Matt. They need something to break their way and wake them up a bit. Be nice to get these fans involved at some point as well. Out. 
He'll start him with a sinker here, but that sinks a bit too much that time. It's 1-0. and oh. Into his windup. Here comes the 1-0. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Revere is under it, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Now batting. Now in the box, Ruzne Castillo. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And he'll hold off on the slider here to start the at bat. It's ball one. You know what, Matt? He's been getting most of the pitches. I know he's complaining a little bit on this one, but he's been getting most of the pitches today. He, he should be feeling pretty good about himself. One out count. Here it is. And the slider just stayed north of the strike zone that time. After two breaking pitches, a pretty good chance right now. You're probably going to get something right in the middle of the strike zone to swing at. So if you're looking for it, go ahead and turn that baby loose. Two and zero oh count and the pitch. Outside three and zero oh now. Looks like he's trying to catch the corner with both those sliders. They just missed. So let's see now. A big question, Matt, is he's going to throw it again and maybe see if he can get a strike this time. And that misses as well. Ball four, so it's a four-pitch walk here. And that hole at bat, I feel like he really didn't want to challenge him. And I'm really surprised by that because I think this is a guy in the bottom third of the order you have to go right after. Now at the plate, Sandy Leon. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. the stretch here's the pitch called strike over the outside part of the plate runner at first here one man out skied into straightaway right Calhoun is there to put it away and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first and he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Still a little early to start talking about these things. There you go right there. A big goose egg in that hit column worth keeping in mind as we get later into the afternoon. At the plate, Josh Rutledge. He drew a walk his first time up. First pitch of the at bat. Now here's a slider that can't quite get back to the outside corner. It's ball one. Two out with the man at first. And this is just off the outside corner, ball two. Well, they walked in the first AB, and clearly he's already got two balls now. They're not challenging him, but as a hitter, it's very difficult to stay patient. But you have to. This is where you got to be patient and get your pitch. Swing and a line drive, but foul. He's set, and the 2-1 pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle, and an underhanded throw is in time for out number three. One left for the Red Sox. They trail this one, one to nothing. Here's the center fielder, Mike Trout. He'll start things out now in the top half of the sixth. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Into the windup and the pitch. A cold strike on the inside corner. And Dan, that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound, but it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. Oh, Awfully close with the slider there, but it's one and one. From the windup, the 1-1 one -one pitch. 
Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. That's a good changeup. Got him to swing early in it. Now you got him set up. You can go back with the hard fastball or double it up with another changeup. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or the strikeout, and there's one gone. Made pretty quick work of him right there, setting him down on only four pitches. And what I liked about all of those pitches, what they were down around the knees or lower. Pretty hard to do any kind of damage when pitches are located in that spot. Here's Albert now. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. He's been doing a nice job out there on the mound, but the deeper you get into the game, the more the hitters have seen you. This is the part of the lineup that he has to be really careful with. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. him out and he becomes the ninth strikeout victim thus far. Oh man he's been absolutely getting overmatched no late the last couple of games. That's his fifth strikeout in this series alone. So clearly this pitching staff they figured out how to attack this guy. We'll see if he can make any adjustments. Cole Calhoun will stand in now. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half, it's 0 and 1. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. The 0 1 hit on the ground down the first baseline, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Angels are gone in order. They lead it 1 to nothing. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. 0 for 2 Leading here to start the afternoon. So second stirring now in that Angel bullpen Dustin, as it'll be Pedroia. both a lefty and a righty that start to get loose. And that misses ball one. Well, it's been a good outing so far, but he hasn't really racked up the strikeout totals that you might think, Dan. Yeah, it amazes me how every game you pitch can be so different, Matt. Sometimes it feels like guys can't touch you and you're just punching everyone out. But other times, you don't have your good stuff and you really rely on movement and location to get outs. That's been the case for him today, and it's really working. And this is fouled back and out of play. The 2 and 1 on its way. Sent fouled again, and after being way ahead, now it's even at 2 and 2. Well, he's out in front of that breaking ball right there. I'm not surprised. I was after that fastball. Nice job of pitching. Kind of keeping him off balance. A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. I think he had his mind made up. He was swinging the bat and trying to protect before the ball even left the pitcher's hand. That pitch wasn't even close. He would have needed a flagpole to hit that one. In now, Xander Bogarts. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Good looking sinker on the inside corner. One out, nobody on. That fastball straightens him up a bit. One and two now. And the pitch. To two balls and two strikes now. One thing you try to do as a hitter is figure out what pattern the pitcher is pitching. I can't cover the whole plate. He's done a masterful job of pounding them on the outside half for strikes, and they haven't figured it out yet. Hit in the air to center field. Trout has a read on it, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Now batting, right fielder, Mookie. Ready for another shot now, Mookie Betts. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one.
and they start him with one high and away for bowl one. These guys have got to be frustrated as an offensive unit so far in this one. They haven't been able to crack the code on their opponent but it's not like they're getting great pitch to Ed either. This starter has kept the ball on the corners of the zone all game long. Changeup stays outside and he's behind two and oh. Two out nobody on. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. Just a bit low, ball three. This is one of those rare hitters counts we've seen in this game. They're just having a difficult time getting it going. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And that one's taken outside for a ball. They walked him. So no one, two, three inning here. They've got themselves a two out base runner. Man, you hate to give up a two out walk to anybody, but especially to a speed demon like him. Good chance he's running here, and good luck trying to stop him. Here's Hanley Ramirez. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. From the stretch. And the slider stayed low apparently for a ball. Here's the 1 0 now to Ramirez. A slider that just grabs the outside corner. You know, when a guy starts to get tired, you often see their breaking stuff start to flatten out, but that's not the case here. Still has really nice finish on that slider, as we just saw. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. And that one stayed too low, apparently. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. And he didn't pull the trigger on a good low sinker, but it missed for ball three. Well, it's a pretty well known fact that your batting average goes up as you get into more favorable hitters counts. And that's especially true when we're talking about this kind of hitter. Not a great spot to be in if you're the pitcher. Now we'll snap one off over to the bag. And he's back easily. A runner on first with two away. Swing line drive that's going to be trouble. Betts rounds the corner and is headed home and the tying run is in to score all the way from first. It's one to one. Just some more of the same from him. He's been clutch all year with runners in scoring position and he does it again here with a double tack on another RBI to his season total. Into the box, Jackie Bradley Jr. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. Oh, for two for him to this point. And it's a called strike to even the count at one. Two out here and a runner at second. Two and one. Gets the sign. Here comes the two one. Grounded back up the middle. And a great diving effort there, but it'll just tip off his glove, and it's a base hit. Well, Matt, that's the sixth game. He's got a base hit in now. You got to start a streak somewhere. I start paying attention about six games. He's swinging about pretty good. Now here comes Angels manager Mike Sosha on his way to the mound, and he's going to motion for the bullpen as that'll be all for his starter this afternoon. 
So as he departs in a tie ball game, he'll remain responsible for those runners at the corners as he helps the bullpen can work out of the jam. Ricky Nolasco trots in from the bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two away. Ricky Nolasco. Ready once again, Jose Ramirez. Lifetime versus Ricky Nolasco has seen him go three for nine. He also has one home run. Cold strike at the letters, 0 and 1. I don't have a problem taking that pitch right there. New pitcher just came in out of the bullpen. You want to see what he's got. You measured the first pitch. Now get ready to hit. Runners at the corners, two men out. Hit sharply on the ground to the left. And just past his outstretched glove into left, the base hit. And the run is in to score from third. Well, he comes up with the big RBI hit right there and puts him ahead in this ball game. If they can keep a lead, get to that bullpen, they got a shot to win this game. Standing in now. Rusne Castillo as he'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. Let's go. Drive it in. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. And this ball is heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0 and 2 now. On its way, the 0-2 pitch. In the dirt here. Good work there to prevent any advance. It's one and two. Nolasco comes set. Here's the one and two. Line drive to left. And that's in there. Base hit. Bradley is on his way home. The runner from second crosses the plate. It's now three to one. Whoa, back-to-back -back sliders. Now, the first one was almost like a practice pitch. You saw the spin. The second one, he recognized and got the base hit. Stepping in now, Sandy Leone. Batting left-handed here as he takes a look at strike one. No hits to this point. Trying to keep the deficit right where it is, the pitch. This is swung on and lifted down the left field line, but it'll get back into the crowd as he jumps ahead of him now, 0-2. Well, he fouls off that fastball right there, and you wonder, does he love his fastball enough to come back with it three times in a row? The 1-2 and two pitch. Nope. Fastball here misses low, and it's back to even now at 2-2. Two and two. Matt, I'm looking for him to challenge him right here. You know, 2-2, two, two, you don't want to go to 3-2, and two, have those runners on the move on that certain pitch. So 2-2 two, is your challenge pitch. 2-2, two, two, here it is. Swing and a liner. That's in there. Base hit. Ramirez rounds third and is digging for the plate. Tack on another here as the runner scores from second, and it's a 4-1 to one game. Digging in once again, Josh Rutledge. We'll see if he can come through in a clutch spot here. Two on, two out here in inning number six. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Ball one. Matt, I just think he's pitching scared. Look, he's getting hit a little bit, and now he's falling behind another hitter. Challenge somebody. This is line to left. Revere is there and he puts it away to stop the bleeding. Nine men come to the plate for score. Seventh inning coming up. The Red Sox four and the Angels one.
Welcome back to Fenway Park here in the great city of Boston. Red Sox on top in this one as we get set for the seventh. But first, here's a look at our game summary to this point. Here's the shortstop, Yunel Escobar. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Yunel Escobar. And now Boston's bullpen springs into action. A left hander and a right hander begin to throw. Tapper up the line. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. So this has been another fine outing for him this afternoon as we check out the league leaders in ERA. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Danny Espinoza. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. And a fastball's off the plate away. It's ball one. Now, this guy has retired a whole slew right now. I think what he needs to do is just stay focused and keep attacking the game plan like he has up to this point because everything he's done has worked. Into his windup, here comes the 1 0. Hard hit ball to second. And that is going to sneak on through into right. It's a one out single. Matt, that's a big base hit. I want to see now can he get guys Third out baseman, from the stretch? Two. He retired a Andrew lot of guys Jen in a row to that windup. Now he's in the stretch. Let's see if they can get to him out of the stretch. Into the box now, Andrelton Simmons, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ball game. And a strike to even the count, one and one. One and one, here it is. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. We're in the seventh now. Four to one, our score to this point. And that's upstairs running the count to three and one. Well, tying run on deck. He should get something really good to hit right here in a 3 1 count. I'd be sitting on a fastball middle in. Chop foul over towards the dugout. Let's get the easy two now. Let's go. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. And when your pitch count gets now over 100, you've got to expect them to lose Martin a little bit of accuracy Maldonado. out there. And I think if he gets into any more trouble, they might come get him. We'll see if he can finish strong. Ready for another chance? Martin Maldonado. And he's likely just trying to put one in play here. 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts thus far. First delivery to him on the way. Swing and a liner. A dive, but he can't make the play, and it's down the left field line. Long throw to third, and he is in there. He was not messing around in that at bat, looking for a first pitch fastball all the way, and that's exactly what he got. Nice job to rip it down the line and drive in a run at the same time. He'll feel good about that one. Here comes the Red Sox manager up out of the dugout on his way to the mound and he's going to make a change as that'll be all for his starter Chris Sale. So he'll leave with the lead can't lose this one but he is responsible for the two runners out there so he could get a no decision if they were to come around and score. Tyler Thornburg takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. There are two on with only one away.
Here's Ben Revere. As he'll watch a first pitch curveball drop in there for strike one. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. From the belt, kicks and deals. And there's ball one. Here's the one one. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. Hoping to send him packing, pitch on its way. Right side. And he has delivered one of the biggest at bats of the afternoon as he cashes in with a base hit. Well, I love the perseverance. Comes down to late in the game. He ends up getting the base hit to drive in the run. No, he hadn't had any hits the whole game. So that was a big at bat for him to bat. First pitch, he'll look to first. And the runner back safely. Here's Craig Gentry. Runners breaking for the plate. Now a bunt attempt here, but a foul ball here. 0 and 1. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Here comes the 0 1. Curve ball bounces, and this one gets away. And would you believe the tying run comes into score on a wild pitch? Man, oh man. All right, let's hold him. One and two now. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Yeah, and they set him up with that curveball on the pitch before. And that one, they just blew right by him. And they could go either way now, I suppose. Getting a few steps off the second there. Now the pitch. Hit back up the middle. Pedroia to his right. He has it in time to first, and there are two away. The center fielder, number 27. Now in the box, Mike Trout. One for two with a double on the ledger so far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Well, he got that first pitch, got him looking right there. With a star hitter like this guy, it is always good to get ahead in the count. Fastball called for strike two. He got two pitches that were up that were very hittable, and he just couldn't pull the trigger. It's one thing if you take one pitch, but to take them twice, I don't know where his concentration is right now, Matt. Go ahead, runs in scoring position here with two down. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. So three runs on three it's hits, no errors, and a man left. They'll get up and stretch here at Fenway, and we are tied 4-4. Riding in once again, Dustin Pedroia. He'll start things out here in the bottom of inning number seven. Dustin Pedroia. Into the windup and the pitch. Out of play. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And a neck high fastball that time. Here's the one and one pitch. And this is going to be a foul ball. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Calhoun has a read on it. One down. Here's Xander Bogarts now. Lifetime versus Ricky Nolasco. Two hits in seven tries. Here's the first pitch to him. 
takes a fastball on the inside corner. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Two tough pitches. Looking at both of them, they're both the same pitch, it looks like, in the same location. He just wasn't ready for it. You got to be ready for anything now. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. That was a big strike out there, guys. The best pitchers have the ability to strike guys out when they really need to. And that second out was really important at this point of the game. Could be something we look back on later when the game's over. Here's Mookie Betts. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. Looked like ball two below the knees, but it's ruled a strike, and that evens the count at one and one. That's a nice spot down below the knees, but that's a low call. All knotted up, 4-4 four, four, the score here in the seventh. Fastball, close, but he didn't get it, two and one. Nolasco gets his sign. Here it is on two and one. Sent on the ground out to second. And that's through for this first base hit in this one. So with two out, that means Hanley Ramirez will also get an opportunity here. A lot of base hits up the middle. Set your sights up the alleys and try to take it back up the middle hard like he did right here. Nice job. Here's the left fielder, Hanley Ramirez. He gets a shot to hit here in the inning following the two out single. Yeah, and that hit might not amount to much, but any time you can extend an inning and give a guy with plenty of pop a chance to swing it, the outlook of an inning changes dramatically. Before the delivery, a check on that go-ahead run at first. And a dive, but he's back in. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Now a ball line fouled off to the right over the Red Sox dugout. Well, that was a big two out single we just saw, and for pretty obvious reasons. The inning went from totally under control to now. He's got to deal with some dangerous hitters here with a runner on base, and this is how two out rallies start. And this is lined into left field, and that'll get down for a base hit, his second of the afternoon. And that's going to move that go-ahead run to second now with two gone. Well, they scored last inning, you thought. That's what you want, a shutdown inning. He comes out, and he gets two quick outs, and now he finds himself in trouble with back-to-back -back hits. Here's Jackie Bradley now. As he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball one and oh. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Here's a line drive, and this game may not stay time for long. That's down for extra bases. Not quite out of here as it's off the monster. And to score, the runner from second. Well, that's a huge base hit. Anytime you get a hit late in the game to give you the lead in the ball game, you feel good about yourself, and his teammates are pumped up as well. Digging in and looking for more, Jose Ramirez. He came through with an RBI single in his last at-bat. And ball four here on the intentional walk. So now they'll have a force at any base with two gone. Oh, that's a walk that could really change the complexion of the game. With the bases loaded, if he gives up a base hit right here, it could get real ugly. Digging in to try it again, Ruzne Castillo. He's one for two in the ball game.
He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hit in the air to right field. Calhoun has a read on it, and that ends the inning. It's Jackie Bradley Jr. who hits the jackpot with this big swing. We're through seven this afternoon. 5-4 Bo Sox. Carson Smith has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Carson Smith. Here's Albert now. 0 for 3 to this point. Yeah, yeah, not his angle. game so far. He's First such a good hitter. We all kind of expect him to Albert pick up two or three Pujols. hits most of the time. That's not really how baseball works, though. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. On to the eighth here as a slider is taken to begin the at bat. It's ball one. Here's the pitch. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Good pitch right there from the reliever. Tough for hitters to do much with pitches in that location unless they're looking for it. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Bradley has a beat on this one. One down. Now batting. Digging in. Cole right Calhoun. No Cole hits in three Calhoun. tries so far. He struck out once. Here's the first pitch to him. A knee high sinker, tough pitch, strike one. Bases are empty, one man out. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Now here it comes. And the sliders in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. A swing and a miss at a ball down. It looks like he just swung right over that sinker right there. What is so hard about a sinker, you have to almost go underneath it and scoop it. If you got one of those swings that goes over the top, you're never going to hit him. Sinker, three and two now. Crowd gets up for the 3 2. Down the first baseline. Ramirez takes it in. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Up next for the Angel, George Duffer. Yunel Escobar. So stepping in, Yunel Escobar. He was a ground out victim last time up. First pitch of the at bat. And this is low ball one. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he watches one miss outside, 2 0 oh now. The 2 0 oh on the way. Now a ball lined into left field. That's a base hit. This is a pesky type of hitter pitchers hate to face. He's going to put the ball in play, not known for power, but if you put it in the zone, he's probably going to make contact. Right there, another example of that. Luis Valbuena will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number 18, Luis Valbuena.
Down and in here, one ball, no strikes. We'll check in with an average still south of 230. One home run and six RBIs. And you wonder about the control now as he misses high with a slider. That's just not a competitive pitch. I mean, that ball wasn't even close. Now the hitter's sitting 2 and 0. Oh. Two out with the man at first. Bat explodes as this has popped up. Ramirez near the bag at third, makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Angels leave one, and the deficit holds at five to four. Luis Valbuena will stay in the ball game now as he comes on to play Angels. second here. Now playing second base, number 18, Luis Valbuena. Kirby now Yates for the Angels. on to pitch out of the number bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Kirby Yates. Into the box now, Sandy Leon. He'll see what he can do leading off the home eighth. Sandy Leon. Hey. A breaking ball taken at the knees for strike one. Comes set and the 0 1. And that is through into right field for a single. So the leadoff man is aboard to start out the inning. Well, that's a slider breaking in right there. And if it's not in on your hands, that's a dangerous pitch. He got lucky that ball didn't go further. And now we see a right-hander up and throwing in the Angel bullpen. In now, Josh Rutledge. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Here comes the 1 0. And this one's in the dirt. And the runner will stay put, but the count moves to 2 0. Hitters count. Here's the 2 0 pitch. Line towards center field. And that'll get down for a base hit. Well, going to the pin, this is not what they wanted. He comes up, he gives up one hit. Now another back to back base hits. I'm curious what's going through the mind of the manager right now as he's looking at his bullpen. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. Swing and a line drive, but foul. First and second here with nobody out. Well hit, but also well fouled into the seats and left. Looking for the K, here's the pitch. Oh, on the ground is short. Could this be two? Valbuena. Back to pool holes, not in time, and they can't get them both. So they avoid what could have been a costly double play there. Yeah, and that credit the batter for busting out of the box and hustling down the line and instead of getting mad at himself for rolling over on a ground ball. It's little things like that that can change the whole game. At the plate, Xander Bogarts. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. From the belt, kicks and deals. In there, no balls and a strike. The 0 1. And a slider bounces, and that gets away. A throw to the plate, and 
and not in time as the run scores. What a bad time for a wild pitch as the run will score from third. Man, he's out there trying to throw strikes and give his guys a chance to come back and maybe win this thing, but that wild pitch and the insurance run it allows to score certainly aren't helping matters in the slightest. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. Swung on and missed. Outclassed by that fastball for a strike. That misses and we're even at two and two. So tough to lay off that pitch he just missed on. That's a sweeping slider. You got two strikes on you. That ball just continues to move and he laid off it. Runner at second here with one man out. A swing and a ball to left field. That's going to get down for a base hit. And they won't risk it at third, so they're at the corners now with only one away. Well, that's a line drive single, but the runner's not going to score. Now, remember, with less than two outs, he had to freeze. Hit it a little bit too hard at the wrong guy. He'll take the hit, but no RBI. Standing in, Mookie Betts. He singled his last time up. Here's a look over to first. Runners back. First delivery to him on the way. And there's one he'd like to have over again. Missed high with the slider. This is a critical point right here. Things are in danger of getting away from him a little. So we'll see how he deals with it. Ready with the 1 0 pitch. Now a curveball ripped down the left field line. That's a fair ball. Long throw to third. And this will get in there too late. He's in there at third. And he'll cruise into the bag at second with a one out double. First baseman, Henley Ramirez. And there's ball four now, so the bases are loaded here on the intentional walk, and the force at the plate is in order. Well, they felt it was better to take the bat out of the hands of a guy like that. He's just too dangerous, and they decided they'll take their chances with the next guy in the lineup. Now at the plate, Jackie Bradley Jr. He's doubled and singled in four at-bats in this contest. Here comes the first pitch. And that pitch catches the inside corner. Getting that first pitch strike is really important when you're dealing with the bases loaded behind you. Good job to give himself the advantage there. And he watches one dip low and inside for a ball one and one. From the belt, the pitch squared that one up just a little late. Working for the punch out and the offering. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Set. Here's the 2 2. Shin high fastball that time, ball three. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this AB hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Bases are loaded here, one man out. And that 
that misses. Ball four. A run will come in to score. And this is a great example of what happens when you can't find the strike zone. The first walk of the inning looked harmless enough, but this one brings a runner home. Self-inflicted wounds are always the hardest to swallow. Yusmero Petit is called upon to pitch, really needing that double play ball. Bases are loaded here with only one man out. Jose Ramirez will be the first to meet him here and they'll do so in an enviable situation indeed bases loaded and only one out now first pitch of the at bat on its way the fastball here is you'll take a look at ball one one and oh it's moments like this as a pitcher when you feel the whole world is against you. You're already in hot water with the bases loaded, so it doesn't make life any easier when you're not getting calls that you think you should. Comes in with the changeup, and it's 2-0. and oh. Putting himself in a pretty bad situation now on 2-0, and oh, and the base is loaded. He basically doesn't have much of an option but to challenge him right here. Three runs already home here. Mine to the right side. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. One run is scored. Well, that run won't be charged against him, but he's still disappointed. His job is to shut the door down when they call on him, and he just couldn't get it done there. So coming to the plate, Rusne Castillo. He hits here in a spot where he might be able to put this one out of reach. Yeah, Matt, down five, another run across here could very well put the nail in the coffin. Mentally, they might still feel like they've got a shot if they could get out of this jam, though. He's set and the pitch. Swing and a liner. But this is speared by the first baseman. The catcher, number three, Sandy Leon. Digging in the switch hitter, Sandy Leon. A couple of singles for him in four trips for him this afternoon. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. There's the cut fastball, but it's low, 1-0. Here it comes, 1-0. Oh. Oh, fastball that just misses inside. Look, Matt, he's nibbling. He's nibbling. I know he's upset he didn't get those pitches, but they just miss off the corner. He can't give in now. Just continue to nibble. Three and oh now. Well, he was definitely looking fastball here, and he got one. But that was good discipline to lay off and get himself into a 3-0 count. Here it is on 3-0. and A high fastball is in there. Taking all the way there, and a walk could be huge here. So I wouldn't be surprised if he's got the bat on his shoulder again on the next pitch. Set. Here's the 3 1. And oh, he thought he'd work the walk, but it's a called strike two now. That's some pressure pitching right there. Base is loaded. He goes up 3 and 0. Oh. He's now worked it back to 3 2. Now, this is really the payoff pitch. 3 2 with the bases loaded. Oh, and it misses ball four, and that will force home a run. Now batting, Josh Rutledge. He's working on a one for three thus far. He's set. Here it comes. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. little dribbler down the line that winds up foul for the second strike 
He put himself in a good position jumping ahead 0-2 with the bases loaded. Now we'll see if he can finish it off. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. And strike three there as they'll finally work out of the inning as the side is retired. So this once slim lead is slim no longer as five runs come across to score to help build a substantial advantage. We've played eight full. The Red Sox lead it 10 to four. Your Fernando Rodriguez please. comes now on to start the, the inning Sox. and he'll have a huge lead to work with. Fernando Rodriguez. Stepping up now, Andrelton Simmons. Leading off with the Angels. One for two with a double Third on his line thus two. far. Andrelton Simmons. Ninth Eight. inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Objective number one right here is finding a way to get on base. So I'm not surprised to see him taking on the first pitch there. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory and he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for route number one now batting catcher Martin Maldonado. into the box Martin Maldonado he'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here into the windup and the pitch curveball and that misses in the dirt for ball one. That swung on and missed. We're even at one and one. Even at a ball and a strike. Here's the pitch. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. Now here it comes. Good spot for the change there, and that'll knock things up at two and two. Two and two count. Here it comes. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. Ben Revere waits on deck. One out, nobody on. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole and getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Now batting left fielder Ben. Revere. Here's Ben Revere. Singled home a run in his last time up. First pitch on its way. And oh, looked inside, but that's ruled a strike. Nothing in one. Now, I'm sure these infielders know it, but this hitter can burn down the baseline. So if he puts a ground ball in play, the defense is going to have to make a perfect turn to turn two. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. And this is fouled back and out of play. That's a big fastball, obviously, and we're going to see this reliever throw it a lot. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. And the third baseman will have a look at it, but this is back into the seats. Now another 0-2. And a fastball just a bit high. I like the high fastball 0 and 2. Now I know he's sitting 1 and 2, but you showed him a great fastball. Now he's got to honor that, and you can set him up with anything. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. Try again, one, two. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. Well, one thing about him, he's an absolute grinder at the plate. You can pretty much count on him battling at the plate every chance he gets.
Here's the pitch on two and two. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. That has to make you feel really good as a pitcher, right? You're making pitches all around the zone, and then you bring that one inside. You can't do anything with it. What does it do? It just locks you up inside. You have no chance to put the ball in play. Here's Craig Gentry as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. The set and the 1 0 pitch. Took a wave at one around the shins with no luck. A runner on first with two away. And he just misses with a curveball. He still might be looking for that release point on that curveball early in this outing. That one looked like it popped out of his hand behind his ear instead of out front. We'll see if he finds that pitch because it'll be important for him. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. And he'll stay alive here, but just barely as this ball's chopped foul at the plate, and the count holds it two and two. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Well, this game had its moments, but it got out of hand pretty quick. Always nice when you can post to a six-run win. Save your closer for another day and let everyone in on the action. Ten to four, the final in this game. Tyler Thornburg earns his third win of the year in relief. So that'll just about do it. For Harold Reynolds, Dan Pleszak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Baskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com.